Hi my friends. In this video, in this little series, we're going to talk about uh, disease and why we have become so sick. What happened? <laughs> what is the explanation that so many of us are struggling so much with our health? So, as I see it, uh, and with what I've learnt on my way, through my own life and through training and through treating different clients, is that uh, uh, said in a very simple way, which this is really all about, being very simple and very common sense, is that our bodies are stressed. It is stresses that are causing disease. And our bodies are stressed by many, many things. And uh, this is partly because we are in this enormous process of awakening from an old way of being and into a new state. So our body is shedding a whole lot of uh, physical things, mental things, emotional things, uh, not spiritual things because we are becoming more spiritual. So this is one of the explanations that human beings are shedding a whole lot of old stuff that uh, we no longer need. And the other explanation, uh, there's many explanations, but one is that life has become mentally and emotionally very, very stressed. And we have lost touch with this deep inner self. Uh, which these videos, uh, in these videos we, will, we are practicing every time. So, uh, because that is really where uh, all the tools we will need to move on, uh, they are in there. Uh, so, uh, the world around us has become a very stressful place, a very toxic place. So, uh, the, the, the soil, the air, the water, our food, and the way we are treated by doctors with uh, all these enormous amounts of, ke of chemicals has all does all uh, bring enormous stress to our bodies and has ever since the, the day we were born. So they say that little babies are born full of chemicals because there's just chemicals everywhere. And uh, one of the huge stresses for us is our diet, which has changed uh, dramatically uh, just over the last hundred years uh, and as you know from the videos I've made that I'm uh, uh, very much a proponent of an animal-based diet and um, we're all unique and some of us fo uh, do very well on a plant-based diet but I will I focus mostly on the animal-based diet because I found that this is most healing for most of us um, but the fact is that we humans have eaten an animal-based diet for millions of years. And our bodies, um, they assimilate the nutrients from animal uh, products very, very easily. And uh, so all the nutrients we need are really in meat and uh, eggs, uh, maybe some dairy. We don't really need anything else. And when we eat this way, our digestive system is very much um, uh, kept healthy and uh, it is not burdened by uh, plants which can often be very stressful for our, for our gut. But we'll go into that much more in a, in a diet video. Uh, so what has happened, of course, is all this food that was uh, nutrient-dense and, um, and very natural uh, our diet has become incredibly unnatural and we're eating food from all over the world and we're eating many plants that are meant very processed and so the whole processed food uh, industry is really more or less killing us um, and as I see it, it it's there's really no one to blame because we humans we are attracted to trying something different and we love uh, these tastes of these foods that are very processed, some people do, and so we become addicted to them, and 
and really it's although it can um, can really uh, take our power away all this food I believe that the power is within us and we can all make these changes so but of course our gut that was so used to these natural foods uh, which is getting all these very very highly processed foods and with lots of carbohydrates uh, this is stressing our system enormously and there was this whole shift uh, some decades ago where we were told that fats are very unhealthy bad for us and that meats are also bad for us and really all animal products we should stay away from and people started fearing fat and so because our human body needs energy when you don't get fat you have to have sugar because otherwise you have no energy so we started eating enormous amounts of sugar and carbohydrates and this has brought on this this whole uh, metabolic syndrome epidemic that really is all over the world so uh, a very simple thing to do if you wish to make changes today is to really just start eating meat and animal products and, and leave all the rest alone. Drink water, have some salt and see how you change because you, <laughs> you change quite dramatically. Um, so this is a one area of it or these different areas I've mentioned now and <clears throat> another major thing uh, is that our uh, because we have become so weakened by all this, these stresses uh, and because of the food and because of the, the, the uh, medicines we were given as babies our gut uh, microbiome has been completely destroyed in, in many many cases and so all the different uh, viruses and parasites and yeasts and bacteria that are in our environment and are, which really are maybe uh, proliferating because because everything is so toxic so all these and we live in a very unnatural way all these things are really multiplying enormously and when you have a very damaged gut uh, they go and they in, inhabit your your body and they really take over so many of us are very burdened by this um, by being infected and we become really chronically infected with all these different uh, microorganisms so it's really <laughs> it's it's really been an onslaught uh, on the human body for decades our bodies have been uh, really um, attacked by all these things and uh, my little mission in life with these videos and now with this little series is to help you to, to understand that although it looks really bad uh, you can actually heal and you can get out of uh, you can you can solve your problems with your health uh, in your body and in your mind it is possible so often when we are very very um, broken down we lose hope and when you lose hope you really lose everything so uh, that's my wish for you to have hope that you can heal so uh, let's just do our little little exercise of tapping into our inner wise self so close your eyes if you like and breathe into your belly allow all my words that were just said to just float away Feel your head and your shoulders and your arms, your torso, your hips, your thighs and knees and lower legs and feet. Feel how your feet are connected to the ground and connected to Mother Earth, this beautiful planet we are living on. Sense how uh, you become more and more soft and relaxed. And you can tell yourself that no matter how 
what a situation your health is in. You are on your way to feeling better and better every day. And all the wisdom you will ever need, all the guidance you will ever need, is it is within you. So there is no need to fear. Feeling how the relaxation is spreading all through your body. Sensing this fullness within. There is life within you. Not only physical life, but spiritual life. You are alive. Isn't that a miracle? That you are here and I am here right now. In human bodies. These magnificent beings. We are living in a human body. We are physical and we are spiritual. So our spirit is within us and it is all around us. It is huge really, much bigger than our body. And our spirit is always well. It is whole, it is complete, and it holds all the wisdom that we will ever need. So with our long, slow, deep breath, we are just sensing how we are this spirit. We are not our body. And as you're relaxing, you might sense that there are places in your life where you can make changes. And whatever you feel ready for, uh, you will be able to do. Step by step. Changing things step by step. And by allowing yourself every day to become quiet and connected with yourself is really the first and most important step you can make. So take two more breaths. Long and slow and deep. And come back when you're ready. So isn't it wonderful when we do these little exercises? I just love it so much, and uh, it really helps. It really helps me to uh, to realize that there might be a whole lot of things that I have to understand and realize and maybe do. But the uh, the foundation for all of that is really that I I am present and I'm calm and I'm trusting and that I feel good with myself. So we were talking about this subject of why have we become so sick and I'll just go back to this uh, in this last part of the video. So uh, I'm not a doctor, uh, I'm a kinesiologist and I do different uh, therapies with uh, 
emotional releasing and spiritual counseling, different things. But I'm not a doctor and um, so I'm not very sciencey. But what I know from my journey is that we can basically say that all stresses that our bodies can't cope with become inflammation. And it is inflammation that really, uh, in most cases, we need to help our bodies rid themselves of inflammation. And when we do that, all the, all the body's ability to cleanse itself, to digest food, and be healthy in, in all parts of our system, uh, all these abilities come back because we remove uh, the inflammation that was caused by all the different stresses. So, uh, and keeping it just keeping it simple is that we change our diet to a whole food, whole foods, organic, uh, very simple, very nutrient dense diet, whatever feels right for us, and. In many cases, it's good to lower our sugar consumption so that we have more fat and more protein, which gets us into a, a low-carb state and which is very anti-inflammatory. And if you have tried that and it's not working, going the carnivore way and just having mainly meat and fat, salt and water, is a very, very powerful tool to... Uh, to, to rid your body of inflammation and uh, also our gut which has become so uh, overwhelmed by all these different microorganisms it actually cleanses itself so because uh, the fact is that these microorganisms that have come into our bodies and that are living there and making us even more inflamed they love sugar and they love carbohydrates so just taking this this step of cleaning up our diet is really can be 90% of the healing that we need to do. Uh, so and as I as I teach you in these little videos, uh, coming into this quiet place where you feel relaxed and feel calm uh, is of course uh, the, the first major one step that uh, really will promote healing on all levels. So this is this is my view of what's happened. We have our bodies are overwhelmed by stresses that are mental and physical and emotional and uh, our, all our bodies abilities are really there but they have become overwhelmed and they've stopped working properly and so when we change our life so that we get this inflammation out of our body with diet and with the way we think and feel and treat ourselves then all the processes of the body start working again and we feel how uh, we heal. So although we're living in a very toxic world and there is a lot of stresses around us we can actually create a little oasis for ourselves we can still be connected with the world around us and uh, we might be sad seeing people who don't take uh, responsibility for their health but when we help ourselves and we take responsibility ourselves we will be able to help others one day. So uh, one of the major things that we need in this healing process is to really accept that everybody is on their own path and some people actually have chosen to be in a sick state for a very long time and uh, to really just love them where they are. So not let other people's suffering uh, pull us down. So all is well and I'll finish this video now that was about sickness and inflammation, bacteria uh, and how we can actually move past it all. So have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.